Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours, morning prayer for May 28th. Today is Pentecost Sunday. Let's have our moment of silence before our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee. Though the eye of sinful man, thy glory may I see. Only Thou art holy, there is none beside Thee, which where an our end evermore shall be. O oh Lord, how good and gentle is Your Spirit in us. Alleluia. O oh God, God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Lord, how good and gentle is your Spirit in us. Alleluia. Let streams and rivers and all the creatures that live in the waters sing praise to God. Alleluia. Bless, Bless the, the Lord, Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All your winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, Bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightning and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, Bless the Lord. 
seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Let streams and rivers and all the creatures that live in the waters sing praise to God. Alleluia. The apostles preached in different tongues and proclaimed the great works of God. Alleluia. Sing, Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the, For the Lord, Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hands. To deal out vengeance to the nations and banishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in feathers of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The apostles preached in different tongues and proclaimed the great works of God. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom he put to death, hanging him on a tree. He whom God has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those that obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It seems like a strange reading for Pentecost. It's almost like uh, scaring the listener. Remember what happened to those who came before you. But then it reassures them Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And it calls us to a, a, a unity of faith, uh, of belief, uh, and to say you know, not to listen to any other teaching. And for Pentecost, we are reminded that there is one spirit, huh? one spirit, and it cannot be divided against himself. So whatever it is that we hear or experience or uh, recognize as some uh, movement of, uh, within our hearts, we are called to, as they say, test the spirit, huh? uh, to make sure that it is in union with what uh, has been taught us uh, by the Word of God, 
by the ministry of the church, and by the Spirit of the Lord himself that speaks in our hearts. In our time in particular, there are many voices that try to present themselves as the truth, the way, the life, maybe even. But as St. John reminds us in his Gospel, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Anything that runs counter to uh, the way of Jesus, the truth of Jesus, and the life of Jesus is not from the Spirit. Which is why prayer, personal prayer and reflection is very important to have an awareness of the presence of the Spirit that lives within each one of us and within the Church, the Body of Christ. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. They began to speak. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Receive the Holy Spirit. The sins of those you forgive shall be forgiven. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Receive the Holy Spirit. The sins of those you forgive shall be forgiven. Alleluia. Christ the Lord has gathered His Church in unity through the Spirit. With sure hope, let us ask Him, Lord, make the whole world new. Lord Jesus, when you were raised high upon the cross, streams of living water flowed from your pierced side. Pour out on us your life-giving Spirit. In glory at the right hand of God, you gave the gift of the Father to your disciples. Send forth your Spirit to renew the world. You gave your Spirit to the apostles with the power to forgive sins. Destroy all sins in the world. You promised us the Holy Spirit to teach us all things and remind us of all you had said. Send us your Spirit to enlighten our minds in faith. You promised to send the Spirit of truth to bear witness to yourself. Send forth your Spirit to make us your faithful witnesses. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions 
together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, Lord make, make the, the whole world, world new. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, let the Spirit you sent on your church to begin the teaching of the gospel continue to work in the world through the hearts of all who believe. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. In peace, let us love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.